What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sadis Kai and I'm finally diving into Age of Overlord to see if we can pull this $130 card. SP Little Knight. Got all 24 packs mixed up and put off to the side to see if we can pull that freaking crazy expensive secret rare. There are quarter century secret rares in this set that aren't even worth that much. But it would be cool to pull one of those too. Let's see. There's a lot of cards in here that I'll have no idea of. Probably all of them. Because I've never <laughs> opened this set before. I also have, I believe, like 20 boosters. So I might actually open them as well in the next video. Because pulling the SP Little Knight would really help me out. Alright, come on. We got... Two of the same supers. 25th anniversary age of work. How old is this set now? Is this like the third newest set? Did this come out last year or did it come out this year? Because I had the box for a while and I didn't feel like opening it till now. First secret rare. <sighs> Shoot. If this is, There's only one secret rare in every, every box, right? And my secret rare is... Duamutef Blessing of Horus. Dang, guys. Right. We got it sleeved up. It does look like a badass card. Actually, I wonder... I haven't opened a booster box in a while. Maybe... Is it two? Is it two, um... Secrets in every box? Because that will make it even better. Another super. I'm thinking since I have 24 packs, I don't need to do that trick anymore. You guys probably seen a bunch of Age of Overlord openings, so I'm just gonna go straight to the middle. We got another super rare. Let's see if we can pull a core century secret rare. It'd be nice to have. Like how rare are core century secret rares? Aren't they like easier to pull than Starlights? Ultra rare here. Uh Testina the Divinity. That defies darkness and Xyz monster. I'm not sure if that's worth anything, but Ultras and Secrets always get sleeved. It's a long ass name though. Honestly, there's too much reading in Yu-Gi-Oh. We got T G all clear. TGs are back. Or return. Is that the cover card I just pulled? No, it's not. Okay. Wonder how the Whoa, we got King Sarcophagus Ultra Rare to go with the Dua Mutef. Really classic looking Yu-Gi-Oh card. I really like the old way of Yu-Gi-Oh. Something about Pharaohs and stuff really seems cool to me. Maybe because I like the mummy a lot. Alright. Two ultras. How many ultras are in a set? Burning Dragon. Sick. Cool. Why is the SP Little Knight worth $133? What's it do? What? Because do, I don't. I haven't dueled since high school, and I used. I've tried Pendulum a little bit, and that was the highest I ever went. I don't even know how to use links. That kind of looks pretty cool. Supreme King Gate Magician. Off to the side. Alright, guys. I'm pretty sure there's another secret. Exceed the pendulum. Badass ninja looking girl. Kinda looks like a Ibuki from Street Fighter. But then again, she could also look like Kitana from Hey! All protection share protector protection of Horus. Is there any super rares worth anything? Should I have sleeved that one up? But yeah. Exceed the Pendulum could also look like Kitana or any of the other mask girls from Mortal Kombat. Because it's just a ninja mask. <coughs> <coughs> but you know what I want? <coughs> I want more samurai support. I know, but... Because ninja got... Whoa! There it is. That's a dragon? 
that don't look like a dragon. Odd eyes, acre dragon. Why don't they ever make like the cover monster worth anything? Unless it is this time. Here's all those long words for you guys if you care. Into a sleeve we go. Four hits so far. Yeah, they got a lot of ninja support. Why can't they give us more samurai support? <laughs> we got T G Mighty Striker Super Rare. The rubbish is starting to show on screen because I just have them stacking on the side. I usually well that guy was cool. Vita Kalarkanum. Alright. Sweet. So yeah guys. Uh, I know my freaking posting has been a little sporadic. It's just cause I don't know. Life's just pretty busy now that we're into a new year. And I haven't had the time to just sit and open packs. That's why this booster box was covered in dust. Sinful spoils of betrayal. Hmm. There's Ogo Addicts in here? Damn. Isn't that like five of these there? Seed spitting saplings. Hand of Warrior Dragon. Okay. Some of these cards look cool, so I just want to take my time looking through them. Did I just open? Okay, I got chill. I, got... I have four packs left, guys. <laughs> Let's do the pack trick for the last four packs. Just in case there's something heat in here. And I can see, check on some of these cards since I haven't seen them. Got what? Yuki, Exis, and Trust. Oh, another ultra rare. Vanquish, Soul, Jayo, Long. Sweet. I didn't open the set that had Vanquish Souls in them. What set was that? Um, I don't want the picture of the dinosaur on it. But this guy looks sick. Looks like a Isekai anime protagonist with his black freaking robe. That's four ultras. Is there another secret hiding in here? <laughs> that would be nice. Or a quarter century. We got this one from this to that, to that. Too many words. Again, the diamond tiger. Stars in and above the shrine. Eggsy's armor torpedo. Looking like a freaking mecha. That's what they called. Or a logon. Extra points for all the ghost guys in the comment section that know what your logon is. Cursed Bride Doll. Kind of creepy. Or cursed. As you will. Synchro Rumble. That's a bastard card. Is that Red Dragon Archfiend? Kind of looks like it. And it is for a Synchro type. Crimson Dragon. Who is a Crimson Dragon? Red Dragon Archfiend. Okay. Last pack. I guess there is only one secret rare. Unless it's in here. Because I do not remember. <laughs> Four to the front. We got ourselves Origami Goddess. Loka Samsara. Alpha Summon. IAS Invasive Alien Species. That's cool. Again, the Diamond Tiger. Starring Knight. Tarai. Sharv Sarga. And another secret rare. Vices Sam Sara. Now this guy. This freaking Kirito looking mother trucker or the The Sin of Gluttony. <laughs> Edgy looking mother trucker, dude. Vices Starfrost. Now Vices Sam Sara. How long is this guy's story? That's actually a pretty badass looking card. Well guys. That was me opening up some Age of Overlord. I have 20 more packs, I believe, somewhere out there. And I'll open them in the future, hopefully in like a day or two, or a week from now. I'll post it. Hopefully I pull the IP Knight. IP? The SP Knight. This $130 card, because I really think it'll be cool to pull. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Was this a good opening?
Oh, God, I hope it was.